Hey folks, uh, Eric coming from Kansas again. So, uh, thought I'd show you another piece of the puzzle here to this new project. Uh, I think I, I mentioned on a previous video that I uh, went ahead and um, bought uh, one of these Ames inverters as opposed to the Samlux we have downstairs. So this, uh, this system that I'm building for my mom, um, you know, she's not going to really, really you know, play around with it and watch, uh, watch it or, you know, do this and that with it. Like, like, uh, like I'm a nerd about. Um, uh, so I, th I, I thought I'd just go with something more simple. Um, and it doesn't have as many bells and whistles. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I've heard of some folks having some problems with these, you know, in years past, but, um, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they have some some of that worked out now. Um, I've heard some some people that have had some really good luck with these. Uh, not this one in particular. I, I found it hard to find any videos on this one in particular. This is the um, well. I could show you the model number somewhere. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, there's the model number. If you can see that. 120 volt or 120 volt AC, 60 hertz output, uh, 12 volt DC input, uh, Ames inverter. So it's most of the Ames inverters are blue. They, they have a couple that are green, uh, like this one. They have a 1250 watt one. This is a 2500 watt model. Uh, I guess these green ones have a little bit fewer bells and whistles. I uh, can't remember which one, which uh, features this one does not have versus the other one. I haven't done a whole lot of research on that. But anyway, um, it had the features I wanted, uh, you know, and, and this is not going to be used for uh, constantly. Most of the time, this is uh, the internal transfer switch is going to be um, uh, having most of the power flow through it, and it's not going to even be doing any inverting for the majority of its life uh, so I figure this is a good choice uh, with that being the case but I thought I'd show you some features here uh, a lot of videos on on this on YouTube where I could find uh, but <clears throat> the front has a nice uh, uh, GFCI outlet in addition to uh, the uh, hardwired AC output and obviously an AC input for uh, charging the batteries and uh, passing through power with the transfer switch inside. Another nice feature, it's got a couple of uh, push button circuit breakers here for the input power and the output power um, that uh, you can push to reset the trip. Um, so that that uh, is another additional safety feature that I hope will uh, be good, but I'm still going to be putting some, uh, you know, AC breakers before or after this thing. Uh, I've always been curious what this diagram says. There's, um, so I thought I'd show a little close-up here. I've seen these on these Ames and Birds, but never really looked at them that closely. But there's a battery type selector. A little dial here. And... Based on where you put that dial, this is this is the uh, DC ba battery charging parameter that it chooses for different kinds of batteries. I'm probably going to choose the uh, AGM1 version. It's got the uh, lowest float voltage since it this is just going to be floating the batteries the vast majority of the time and not using them. Um, then we get the charge current selector here. I'm going to have to dial that in where I want it at after I get this all installed and then it's got some other lights here that tell you what modes it's in so and uh, or, or if there's some alarms or trips then we got the on off switch I guess we got a uh, power on and power save I don't think I'll ever use power save on this one uh, for this application uh, and then on the back here Got the battery connections, obviously. 
And then we got also a remote connection. I guess you can uh, unscrew this panel here and probably put it somewhere remotely if you wanted to. I won't be doing that. And we got a ground lug here. And uh, so, oh, okay, this got, got an LCD remote, which I don't think this one, this model supports. I think it's just an LED remote. So I guess I'd plug it in this one if I were to take this <clears throat> remote off here. But anyway, this is a 2500 watt version. There's also a 1250 watt version. Uh, that one, <clears throat> instead of the 1250 watt, instead of having a hardwired inputs uh, here, it's just got a computer cord input like, uh, like you'd have here. And it comes with a cord, I believe. And <clears throat> you just plug that in, plug it in the wall, and it's, it's uh, ready to go in terms of charging batteries and passing power through the uh, transfer switch, which is pretty handy if you're just wanting something really simple and want to just back up one circuit or something like that. <clears throat> and then that 1250 watt also has this uh, GFCI outlet like this one does. So I figured this was handy also where I'll be putting this at in my mom's house. Anyway, wanted to show you that here before I start getting it installed and things hooked up to it. Um, but uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, let me know if we, if we show anything else on it. Uh, I think I got everything, but <clears throat> I'll uh, update you on what I, if I find out anything else on this. Um, as I install it. Um, here's the instruction manual. It's uh, uh, pretty thin compared to the Samlex uh, inverter chart. But there's a lot of stuff in here that could expound upon quite a bit more that they don't, uh, unfortunately. But that is uh, is what it is. Now I thought I'd show you, it, all, it also comes with, so it, it came in this, this box here which was also inside of uh, another similar size box like this. So they, they, Basically double boxed it, which is nice. Um, and it comes with these black and red um, <clears throat> battery cable, uh, terminal covers. So once you get your um, battery on there, you can screw that uh, screw that on there. It comes with uh, these screws here that uh, you can attach them with. And it also came with this box that goes over the AC input and output terminal block. And they also give you a couple of, uh, um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank on what these are called, but um, cable connectors, uh, you know, 10, uh, 10 to or 12 to 14 to wire connectors at uh, you know the Romex killer what do you want to call it um, so these uh, sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand here so this box just uh, you take these two screws off and this box fits on the top on the on the front and uh, <clears throat> you can attach these these things <clears throat> to it and uh, Everything have your wire secure. I'm, I'm actually not going to use these. I'm going to run conduit all the way to <clears throat> flexible conduit all the way to this box here, and then um, connect it up that way instead of having the wire exposed. I'll have it inside them some conduit. So anyway, um, I also like to see that. So that's that's all that comes with. Um, Everything else you have to provide by yourself or provide elsewhere. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Grace and peace be with you.